Claire, good afternoon. What did the representatives of this movement have to say going into the meeting with the Prime Minister? Well, it's not clear at all, actually, if this meeting will actually take place. So far, we have seen two people walk across the courtyard just behind me, François de Rougy, who's the environment minister, and then one man who may or may not be a yellow-vested protester. He walked behind me about 10 minutes ago. We're not sure if he's part of the official delegation of the movement. We're not sure quite who he is, but he may have been walking into that meeting. As for the rest of the movement, no one's turned up. Um, and that's largely because earlier on in the week, we saw eight people who were declared as spokespeople for the movement. And two of them actually met with Francois de Rougy, the environment minister, on Tuesday evening. They then started getting a little bit of criticism on Facebook, on social networks, for having almost tried to self-declare themselves as leader of this movement. And that really wasn't quite in the spirit of this very much grass, grassroots, bottom-up movement. So those eight spokespeople have all now backed off, saying... OK, we don't want to show up to this meeting because we want to wait until a delegation which has regional representatives of this movement is put in place. It's not quite clear how that delegation will be put in place at all because, remember, this is a very unstructured movement. But for now, those spokespeople that we saw earlier on in the week, they've said they won't turn up. What's interesting to remember is that from the very start in the last few weeks, um, the movement has been asking for this meeting with the Prime Minister, Edouard Philippe. He resisted. He's now agreed to the meeting. And it looks like no one wants to show up. So, Claire, given that, you know, representatives of this Yellow Vest movements have decided to give this meeting a skip for now, it seems, uh, it's safe to assume that that planned protest for Saturday, tomorrow, is going to take place. Absolutely. Now, we saw um, various different videos on Facebook from Eric Drouet. He's become very much known as a ringleader in this movement. He is absolutely calling on people to come out and protest here in Paris on the Champs-Élysées, but also various different parts of France. The protests are continuing as I speak in different parts of France, and he wants that to continue. He's also called for more blockades from Tuesday onwards at petrol stations and oil refineries around France. He put that call out on Facebook earlier today. He basically wants to bring the country to a standstill. He very clearly said that he would much rather use his time and energy protesting on Saturday in Paris than meeting the Prime Minister here on Friday. Um, what's interesting to remember is that last week, Act 2 of the protests on Saturday, very, very violent on the Champs-Élysées. The police and the government are very keen to avoid a repeat of that. So that's why we're seeing 6,000 police officers will be deployed in Paris, particularly concentrated around the Champs-Élysées. Any access or an entrance going on to the avenue, that very famous shopping avenue, of course, they will all be manned by police who will be checking people's bags, checking people's ID cards before they actually enter the Champs-Élysées. So this protest has certainly not been banned, but the police are really trying to keep a handle on it this time and make sure that Act 3 doesn't look anything like Act 2 last Saturday. Act 2, which had 130 people arrested across the country. Claire, thank you very much for that update. Claire Pakalan reporting there from the Prime Minister's office.